Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to bear the Persil 649 sunglasses against the Persil 714 sunglasses. So a lot of you guys have been requesting that I make this video because they're probably two of the most iconic pairs of Persil sunglasses. So first we're going to start off by trying on the 649. I think these sunglasses came first and then the 714s are going to be the folding version of the 649. So let's pop these on. And these sunglasses are going to have 54 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge and this is what they're going to look like on face. So as you guys can see, these definitely have an aviator style teardrop lens shape to them. They're going to look very iconic and they have these very big, bold, and very thick classic acetate frames that are going to be actually very heavy. They're also going to have all glass lenses that are again going to make these sunglasses pretty heavy and pretty substantial. They're also going to feature Persil's Meflecto stem system over here and that's going to allow these sunglasses to give a custom fit to the face. And almost all Persil sunglasses feature this Meflecto stem system. All right, so now let's pop on the Persil 714 sunglasses and these sunglasses are going to have 54 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. So almost the exact same dimension except the bridge is going to be one millimeter longer than the classics. So these sunglasses are going to again have the same aviator style teardrop shaped lenses and they're also going to look very good on face. They're also going to feature again Persil's Meflecto stem system which is going to help uh, give these sunglasses a custom fit to the face. And I think the sunglasses also look really good. These are the iconic pair of sunglasses that Steve McQueen wore in a lot of different movies. And in my opinion, these are probably going to be the most classic pair of personal sunglasses that you can buy, even though I believe the 649s were the ones that came first. And then again, these are going to be the folding version of those sunglasses. So these sunglasses are also going to be very heavy and very substantial. They're going to have these very thick acetate frames, just like the 649s did. They're just going to be a little bit thinner here in the temples of the sunglasses, but they're also also going to uh, have glass lenses so the optical quality on both these sunglasses is absolutely top-notch because they both have all glass lenses and the quality is just absolutely amazing they're also going to both feature the personal supreme arrow here that's going to be found in the outside temples of the sunglasses so putting on the 649 sunglasses again we can see those personal arrows here and again that's going to be there for authentication and also of course for styling purposes so of course the biggest difference like I said at the beginning of this video is going to be that the 714s are going to be a folding pair of sunglasses. So here we have the 714s and they're going to fold down by bending in like this. Then they're just going to fold in and again they're going to bend down and then simply fold in and the actual action is going to feel very, very smooth when doing this and then it's going to fold up into this very uh, compact form factor which is going to be really, really cool and it's going to be very convenient as well. So this is going to be on the 714s. Now if you actually get a limited edition Steve McQueen version, so that's going to be a 714 SM for Steve McQueen, they're actually going to fold in like this. That's what the difference is going to be. So the temples are going to fold in and then they're going to fold in again like this and they're going to have the same folding action here in the middle, but they're going to fold in rather than folding down. That's going to be the difference between a 714 and a 714 SM. The biggest problem that I have with the 714s is that over time, the bridge here is actually going to get a little bit loose in some pairs of sunglasses. I own a couple of different colorways, and this is the only colorway that it's happening to, but as you guys can see, uh, it's gonna kind of fold in, and that's gonna be a little bit less premium. It's not going to stay stiff. When you get it brand new, it's gonna stay very stiff, but once they break in, they're gonna kind of be able to have a little bit of movement here. They're not going to really snap in quite as well. And that's not going to happen to every pair. Like I said, I own a couple other colorways that don't have this issue after using them for a couple years, but this particular pair definitely does, and that is a downside and makes them feel a little bit less premium. As far as coverage go, both these sunglasses have very good coverage from the sun. Here are the 649s, and again, they're going to have very good coverage. It's not going to be a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected here up top. They're going to have a little bigger gap than here on the 714s, as you guys can see here, but again, they're going to be very similar. Now, as far as coverage from the side goes, both again are going to be the same here are the 714s. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of gap, but definitely very good coverage overall with their aviator style uh, shaping. And then here are the 649s. And again, we'll take a look at the side coverage. And again, they're going to have very good coverage from the sun. And that's going to make these sunglasses very practical and absolutely fantastic for driving. One of the main pairs of sunglasses that I have in my car is going to be a pair of 749 sunglasses.
Both these sunglasses are going to be made in Italy and they're going to stay here in the inner right temple of sunglasses. They're going to say personal made in Italy. Again, both the inner right temple of both these sunglasses. So overall, both these sunglasses are fantastic. I think if you had to choose between the two, probably because of reliability issues, I'd probably go ahead and pick the 649. But again, if you're looking for that convenience with the folding frames, I would definitely go ahead and pick the 714 sunglasses. But both these sunglass frames are absolutely fantastic and absolutely iconic. And I really like both these. And for current price, and availability. I'll have a link in the description down below where you guys can pick up both these sunglasses on Amazon. But that's all for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But that's all for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.